Oh. Oh, not you again! Get out of here! Oh. Let's do another one. I don't think I want to waste a draft token on this set, to be honest. Like, I'm not really going to be using these cards, so... Because I, I don't play Alchemy or Historic or anything. Because I'm boring. Okay. Oh. So we picked that. Three mana. Select one or more. Beginning of pre-combat main phase. Create a treasure, lose a life. Draw a card, lose two life. Make a 3-2 with Changeling, lose three life. My god, it's gorgeous. It's also Meteor Golem, Owlbear, Shepherd is okay. Look the open hand is eh. Words of Tiamat. Some of these things might come around, but uh. Going with Black Market Connections, because holy cow. Playing Fist Officer. This is actually pretty good. Three mana thing that will essentially just grow when your combat creatures die. Be able to Beholder is nice, but the late game, especially as like a final swing enabler. Ooh. Okay. Do you like Vampire Spawn? I might keep an eye on that. Give it Black Dragon. Fiend Lash. Equipped creature has 2-0 in reach. Whenever it's dealt damage, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player or planeswalker. That's not terrible. What else is here though? Soul Knife Spy is pretty good. Celestial Unicorn's okay if we have life gain stuff. Guardian Naga is not as great as I thought it was. I do really like Vampire Spawn. Sepulchre Ghoul is okay. You line up the shot is still pretty good. Unexpected allies. I'm, I might as well just take the rare. Might as well just take the rare. I like me a prowler. Rebel rouser. Ooh, but double team. Double team though. Oh, guiding bolt is also pretty solid removal. Arcane archery is okay. I'm gonna try and invest early in double team and see where that gets me. I don't think there's any black double team things. Oh, that's a specializer though. Okay, some decent things. We got Priest of Ancient Lore, but what do you do? Four mana, three, three. Beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gets X over X the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Other things. Target creature, first strike in XO. XO, creature instant and sorcery. Menace XO. Trample XO. Okay. XO, number of creature cards in your When it specializes, seek a creature card and put it into your graveyard and conjure two duplicates of it in your graveyard. Oh, so you just shove two things in the yard when you go straight to black. Okay. I'm okay with Sarabok. I think I'm okay with that. I think Fiend Lash would like to have creatures with big butts, but... And Rebel Rouser kind of has a pretty big butt. With a, for a two-mana creature. Hmm. Earth Cult Elemental is good. Ambitious Dragonborn also wants stuff in the bin like Sarabok does. Manticore is alright. Sepulchre Ghoul is also feeding into Sarabok, but I think I just want the Earth Cult Elemental just because that thing is valuable once you get to the 6 mana slot. I have been having trouble with these drafts with uh, reliably securing enough mana for my stuff. Occasionally, but like noticeably enough that I've had, that I've noticed the problem. So I don't know. Um, hopefully Black Market Connections will help. I do like having Fiend Lash. I think that's going to be good for us. Oh god, Earth Cult Elemental. It's a 6-6 body that makes people sacrifice things. It'll do good. There's more double team. This is double team as well. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no hunting party. Eyes of the Beholder is real expensive for what it does. 
This is just double team, though. If we can get some more of those Dragonborn Barbarians that sack for two red, we'll be in good shape. Well, let's cast for each crit you attacked with this turn. <laughs> Warriors of Tiamat. I mean, deals combat damage to a player, create a 2 1 black spider creature token with menace and reach. I don't have much that gives evasion. I'm just gonna spam the red freaking um, double team. Carnelian Orb of Dragonkind. I already has haste. I don't have any other dragons. Anticore. How about you find some prisoners? I'll I'll go with that. Spike pit trap, lantern. I'm gonna go with the pit trap. Because that's an early investment into a thing that can still just deal five to a thing. Gate of the Black Dragon. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a land that does more than just land things. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab you line up the shot. Just to have it. Cloak of the Bat. Is that necessary? Flying in haste. I mean, could be useful. Yeah, I'll put it in the side. There's an ambitious dragonborn. We can go on the side. Another earth cult elemental. My god. Oh, Wand of Orcus again. Mwah, baby. Baby, I missed you. Past that, there's not a ton here that I really need. Wand of Orcus is going to take it for me. Especially since I'm already in red and black. I don't think I have many other zombies. But. When a crypt creature. Attacks or blocks, it and zombies you control gain death touch until end of turn. When a crypt creature deals combat damage to a player, create that many 2 2 zombie creature tokens. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I can find ways to put trample on things, that'll be especially helpful. Pink Lash gives 2 0 in reach. Okay. I need more early stuff. I've got a lot. Like, I've got my end game here. This is how we win. Now I just need to get there. What do you do? Six mana. Two, seven. Whenever you cast a spell, you may put it on the bottom of its owner's library. If you do reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost, then put the rest on the bottom of the library and it tr triggers once each turn. Uh, Grim Bounty is the pick. Play a card from the graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. There's another double team we're going to miss out on, but it's, it's Grim Bounty. We need the removal. Dragon's fire, we need the removal. But how many dragons do we have? Is, is that just going to be three most of the time? Improvised weaponry is two and a treasure. Three is going to be important, I think. Uh, hook horror as well. Do I, eh. Dragon's fire is fine. Mephit's enthusiasm, I know that's good. Uh, Chain devil is also pretty solid. Four damage to a creature planeswalker. If excess damage was dealt this way, note the excess damage when you get... You, then you get a boon with your next cast or creature spell. It's a perpetually XO. Mephit's enthusiasm is good. I've, I've been destroyed by it in the past. Uh -huh. So I'm feeling okay. I think I need more creatures. Expected allies. Grim Wanderer. Could be good if a creature died this turn. Okay, okay. Demogorgon's clutches could also be pretty solid. To three artifacts, conjure duplicate of each token. I hand and then we pay red with the pain mana cost of the ends. Okay, I don't like that. Um it's either Grim Wanderer or Demogorgon's Clutches. I kinda want Demogorgon's Clutches. Just because I feel like being evil. Summon undead. Eh, find some prisoners. That's it. It's essentially card draw. Because we steal from our opponent's library. And we can just steal their creatures. Why do we gotta play our own? We can just steal theirs. Okay, this is starting to take a little bit of shape. Seems like a very controly build. Part of me really wants to grab that owl there. Armor of Shadows, that's not as important. Um, 
I'll take the lantern. It's the only thing that I really want from here. Meteor Golem. Also, giant fire beetles. Uh, giant fire beetles, we want double team. Whenever we get a creature, we want it to be two creatures. Basically, these, these things say, whenever they attack, draw a card once. Uh, Drider, Incessant Provocation. I mean, Incessant Provocation probably isn't the worst thing in the world. I also am a bit of a fan of Drider. Uh, yeah, screw it. I'll take the Drider. Another Demogorgon's Clutches. We are going to be evil today. Uh, Ranger Squadron, because it has double team. Why not? Chain Devil. I'll take it. Uh, Grim Wanderer Wield? What? Okay. I'll take the come to the Null Camp. I don't know if it's gonna... Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we got a couple things here. We got a couple things here. Shadow Heart is hilarious. Uh, Ghost Lantern is also funny. Sh Shardle and Dragon is useful. A third Demogorgon's Clutches. A second Warriors of Tiamat. Willing Rapier. We're gonna, we're gonna take this one. Um... Specialized 2, if a player has 13 or less life, end step, deal 1 to each player. If it's mono black, it's 4-4 four, four, death touch lifelink, deals 1 damage to each player. Uh, if it's part white, whenever you lose life during your turn, create a 2-2. Two, two. If it's part red, it's 1 damage to each player. Whenever you lose life, each opponent deals loses that much life. Okay. It's probably going to be end up ending up being mono black most of the time, but we'll see. Another Grim Bounty is very good. Sigil of Miracle. Beginning of combat on your turn, mill a card. When you do, if there are four or more creature cards in your graveyard, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control and it gets death touch until end turn. Ooh, I'm taking the Grim Bounty. Yeah. This is a very removal heavy deck. And I'm kind of here for it. Oh, my bet. Should I get rid of the Lantern? Maybe. Another Gate of the Black Dragon. Iron Golem is, has its uses. Nefarious Imp is pretty good too. To think I might actually want, just as a flyer. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the Imp. I'm gonna take the Imp. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, uh, should I drop the Pit Trap? Maybe. Maybe I should. Uh, I'm definitely dropping the Drider. I'm not really that enthused by it. I'm gonna do it on creatures. Better. Still not great. I mean, I've got some double team. Not as much as I would like. A lot of our stuff is top end. Champlain Gast. Very useful. That's kind of exactly what we need, is more creatures and more low drops. I don't need two chain devils. I'm already real heavy on the top end. Horde robber's good. Cobalt war color is pretty good. Vampire spawn's not bad. I might just take the vampire spawn, actually. I'm not I'm not super huge on the horde robber. But the, the four last... Ooh, that's a black dragon. Oh, get in here, baby. Oh, we've got so much top end. Ah, uh, I think I can drop a Earth Cult Elemental. Having one of each of these is pretty good. Ugh. Come to the Null Camp. I think another you find some prisoners. Why not? We're gonna steal our opponent's deck and keep them from playing. <laughs> uh, I'll take another Vampire Spawn. That's fine by me. Okay, this is starting to shape up. I'm starting to really like where this is going. I'm liking having a ton of creatures with relevant effects. Shambling gas when it dies can either ramp me or kill a tiny thing. And that's a third Demogorgon's clutches, my friends. We are being evil today. We are being so evil today. Soul knife spy, because why not? Not like I'm going to play any of these. Uh, Ranger Squadron, because again, why not? I don't know what I'm cutting. 
I truly don't. Or 14 creatures. Probably cutting non-creatures. I guess I'll take the Chain Devil. Yeah, let's eliminate our opponent's resources. I think that's the, the game we're playing today. I think I can drop the Warriors of Tiamat. Null Hunting Party is good. Black Dragon is going to be useful. Might as well keep Mephit's Enthusiasm. I'm not sure about the Fiend Lash anymore. It does give reach, so I mean, there's that. Uh, sure, Blur. Sparring Bard, sure. Okay, okay, we are Rakdos, Control, and Punishment. That is what we do. That is who we are. That's how we want to win the game. Grim Wanderer reacts to the thing dying. Dragon's Fire kills the thing. Shadow Heart deals damage. Can grow into a thing that can gain us back life or deal even more damage. Uh, Genesee Rabble Rouser gives us a second creature. Mephist Enthusiasm. Removal buffs our next creature. You find some prisoners, can remove artifacts or steal a card. Black Market Connections. You don't need anything else. Demogorgon's Clutches. I got three of them. It's hilarious. And super, super punishing. Various Imp. I actually don't think we need that. Oh no, we need creatures. We need creatures. What am I doing? Uh, we can drop a you find some prisoners and put in a creature. Actually, no. I think that's going to turn into a creature often enough. Get the lantern out of here. Get a chain devil out. Drop a Demogorgon's clutches. We don't need three of them. And chain devil back in. We need creatures. We need creatures. I can drop the fiend lash. That one of Orcus is friggin' staying, I swear to god. Elemental and Black Dragon both need to stay, I think. Saravok is good. I think Saravok can stay. Shadowheart is absolutely staying. Grim Bounty is absolutely staying. We can drop the Dragon's Fire. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Part of me wants to find a place for Fiend Lash, but I don't think there is a place for it, in all honesty. I'm gonna drop a mountain and call it a day. We're gonna say that's it. Um... <laughs> uh, I don't want to say torture. I don't want to call it torture dungeon. Uh, wh whips and chains, maybe, because we got chain devils in the prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whips and chains. Yeah, I like that name. I like that name. And now let's get in there and friggin' lose a bunch. Depending on how long this takes, we might be able to fit a third draft in. Who knows? Ah. Okay. Let's see what we got. Choose one of them so then you may play that card. Okay, so we can steal a land with that. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Hello. Red down. I think that right now is the... Never mind, we don't need to steal land. But we can still steal a thing. And then turn three, we can demo Grin's clutches. Okay, let's steal a thing. Ooh. And choose one until your next... Till the end of your next turn, you may play that card. And you spend mana over mana of any color to cast it. I don't have anything that I would be able to sacrifice to that. 
I don't have enough mana for that. Let's just get rid of the red dragon, I think. Okay. Mountain. Um. One more permanent you control, leave the battlefield. Yeah, let's go ahead and just force them to do bad stuff. I there's no way I could have I had nothing to sacrifice to the um dispute to the deadly dispute. I didn't have enough to cast either of the other two, so could cast anything. I do need another mana, preferably another black mana. Got treasure, which is disappointing. What did they discard? Prowler and Immolator, and then milled those. Okay. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Let's get Sarabok down. Okay. So then here, I've got options. I could specialize discarding the Imp. Which would... Okay, never mind. Don't have that problem anymore. Transform Prowler. Gotcha. Well, the Imp can throw itself in front of that Prowler. Or I could just make them discard these last two cards in their hand. And now they're out of immediate resources. They have a one mana sacrifice. Sure. I guess? Are they just doing a thing to do it? Because otherwise they would lose the resource. That's fine. Alright, so this is unfortunate. That's a thing I can do. Get the vampire spawn out. Gain a little bit of life. You know what? I will trade with the Prowler, actually. You know what? No, I'll take the three. I'll take the three. It's a Grim Bounty. Yeah, screw it. Destroy this Prowler. I don't care if they draw a card. I've already got seven mana. I'm gonna hold this thing back. We'll get the Nefarious Imp down next turn. Or I guess we have other options. Yeah, just Nefarious Imp. Because we need to start attacking with this thing. No attacks. We'll have that... We'll hold this spawn back to block the Horde Robber. Ooh, are they flooding? I almost feel bad, but they can still cast whatever they come across. Which could be any of... Oh, no! They took my Black Market! Oh, God. The worst freaking card they could have taken... All right, well, let's steal their resources right back, huh? Sewer plague. Let's get Kalein. I I feel like getting Kalein out because I want to buff stuff with my treasures, especially a black dragon if I can manage it. Yep. Oh god. They had to steal my freaking black market connections. So they just drew a card. That's fine. Breath weapon. Sure. One or more leave the battlefield. Uh, yes. Yes, I want that there. I desperately want that there. Oh, we can get rid of the rabble rouser. I will 100% trade if you send in that horde robber. How's it going, champ? Hey, Dusty! It is going alright. I am already on my second draft because my first one went real fast. I didn't lose a lot. I just... <laughs> I went 3-3 three and three with a dragon deck and it went quick. Like, real quick. How are you doing today? Happy to see you here. And I... This deck right now has turned into a red-black sort of control -y 
thing, I guess. Uh, they stole my red my black market connections with a, uh, uh, you find some prisoners. So that's a little depressing, but I'm here still. And they got all the man in the world. Yeah, Dragon Tribal is OP. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Whoop. Got the vampire spawn, steal a little bit more life. And now they need to answer both of these. And they can... <laughs> they You can go ahead and draw a card if you want there, friend. He's forced to lose life every turn. Yeah, choose one or more. Ooh, dragon. Get rid of that. Yeah. That's a really good point. I'm gonna make this guy die to my black market connections. Because it is choose one or more. What do you know? Oh. We hit platinum, baby. We hit platinum. I was going to stall against this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's what it ended up being. I love vampire spawn so much. I completely forgot how much I loved it. And I'm so gra glad I grabbed two. Let me show you this deck. Um, a little light on creatures. But we got three find some prisoners to steal stuff with. Uh, we've got two Demogorgon's Clutches and one in the side. Because we pulled three. Because I... Cool. Um... We got a Wand of Orcus, just like my very first draft. We got a few, or a couple, double team stuff. A lot of end game things. I'm gonna add that Dragon Fire. I thought about that. Yeah, I should probably put it in for the, uh, the third prisoner. Yeah. Because that's gonna end up early on being some stuff. I only have a 4-4 four, four otherwise. There's a dragon, you have three prisoners. I, I know, it's... I was telling myself, oh, I'm probably just going to steal lands, take creatures, it'll be fine. But, uh, the last time I used it, it, uh, actually, no, the first time I used it in that first game, uh, it's, I couldn't play anything that it grabbed, and the second time it ended up being a, uh, Kalein, which was fine. But yeah, some control -y stuff, reducing their resources, punishing them for other things. Kind of just incremental stuff. I really want to get Shadow Heart out. If I can get Shadow Heart out specialized into black with black marker connections down, that's going to be pretty solid. Pretty solid. Ooh. This is fine. This is fine. Hello. Drop the ghast. Dragon fire. Swing in. Call that turn. Okay, so turn three. I have three options. Oh, I'm getting rid of you. I do not like your ass. Let's see. Let's get the Demogorgon's clutches down right now. Just remove some of their stuff. Although, they do have green, so they might have some recursion things. We'll see, but... Kind of just want to get some damage and stuff in early. Wand of Orcus is going to be a later thing. Ooh, we got a Dreadlinorm, we got an Owlbear, another Rabble Rouser. That was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Pilgrim's Eye, sure. That actually tells me that I can probably drop the Wand of Orcus now. It's also Shadow Heart. Let's swing in with the, the, the Ghast. See if they want to give me anything. Because if I drop the Nefarious Imp, they definitely wouldn't block. This is a chance still. Okay. Nobody's at 13 or less. I'm just gonna drop the wand and see what happens. Green has a million ways of getting rid of this artifact, so I figure I might as well put it out now to see what they got. Mm. Okay. There we go. Let's screw it. Let's put Wand of Orcus here. 
and see if they want to trade with the Barbarian. Because if this hits, it's just going to get me a zombie. Or they could get their Barbarian down. Or just, just kill that. That's fine. That is perfectly acceptable. Uh, I think... I'm going to get rid of their Pilgrim's Eye. Reduce their pecking potential. And then I'll drop Shadow Heart at the second main phase. And okay, so we can't specialize until somebody's at 13 or less. And they're going to be at 14 at the end of this turn. They might have some more removal. Oh god, Raga Draga! Um. No, I'm just gonna take it. I could just kill that, but what would be the point of just killing that? I feel like I might as well equip the Wand of Orcus. Don't block? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is untapped, isn't it? Okay, specialize. Nobody's at 13. Various Imp. Is that worth... Maybe just having a blocker for a thing? 2-2. Two, two. Attacks, untap it. What's my playthrough here? I really want to get Shadowheart into the black part of it. Thinking. Um... Nefarious Imp will still scry even when itself leaves, so if I can scry for a land, I'll be very happy. Now we're both at 13, and now I can specialize Shadow Heart on the next turn. Meanwhile, Nefarious Imp can just chump block. Why that? I will absolutely trade this. And leave my Nefarious Imp up to Wand of Orcas me two zombies? What's your what's your play here? I'll, I'll leave that. I definitely want that land. Why would you get rid of your Rackadraga unless you have like another? Rackus Barbarian, okay, sure. Maybe they have a plummet? Or that one greens? No, no, they do not. Well, uh, do these come in tapped? No, they don't come in tapped. So this is gonna make me two zombies. They're top decking. Each of these can block one of the barbarians, and that's totally fine. Hey, we did it! All right. They, uh, made a huge mistake attacking with Ragadraga. Like, that didn't make sense at all. Beautiful. Free card! Oh, we're 2-0 oh at the moment. I want to get two more of my double team. Because I got some pretty decent red double team. I don't know if I have enough creatures for the, uh, six mana one to be that relevant. I can turn one gas, turn two gate. Be happy with that. Corn jerky. Hello. I don't think I have any turn three plays immediately, but I got plenty of stuff in there that's two or three mana. Horde robber, sure. There we go. That's a two mana play. 
Start dropping each of us down. I'm happy with that. Can't specialize it until one of us is at 13. Can you do exile a card from a graveyard? Okay. I might as well just vampire spawn here. Get them closer to 13 and me farther. I'm not gonna throw Shadow Heart in yet. Hold the Shanling Gas to block. Oh, Kaga. I forgot about you. Get to the Black Dragon. And I'll hold up. Find some prisoners. Because I feel like that's gonna be important. Especially if I can yoink a land. In this death of sun, turn mill two cards. Once you're your turn, you may play a land or cast permanent from among cards in your graveyard that were put from the library this turn. Konya just exiles things from the yard and does stuff with those cards when they specialize. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take that, turn it into a treasure. Yep. Bone collar cleric. Interesting. Let's go ahead and steal something. Here's a question. Do I grim Ooh. Maybe I just steal their swamp so I can play that next turn. Have six mana and earth cult elemental. Yup. Dropping this sucker. Gonna need to get rid of that imp. Sure. You sack one thing. What do they drop? Probably the horde robber. Oh, a land. That's fine. That's very fine. Okay. Fucking bone color cleric. I am so happy I got rid of that meteor golem though. Holy cow. Uh, it's, oh, it's just, it's just Death Touch. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll take the one. And the two in the air, right? It's fine. I can Grim Bounty into a Grim Wanderer. That'll be nice. Skanos? Attacks, another target crack, more Skanos power. Okay. Ooh, Mephit's Enthusiasm. I like that a lot, actually. So I'm going to get their recursion out of the way now because there's going to be three overkill damage that's going to be useful on Grim Wanderer. And let's send in the Earth Cult Elemental. Yep, that's fine. gonna scry I don't care they get a land back 3-0 yeah I'm okay with it with, with Grim Wanderer being an 8-3 I'm very okay with that especially considering none of their stuff has power higher than two so it's definitely gonna kill two things unless they just take it out on their own But now I also have the option of specializing Shadow Heart. They do have one card that I don't know. Exile the Shambling Gas, go for it. Yeah, Cerebox is not that important so long as they got Viconia out. Sure. What do you do with your stuff? Black, perpetually gained, you may spend mana of a conjury duplicate of something, perpetually gains, you may spend mana, and when this creature enters the battlefield, le take two. Come on. Come on. This interface is just dumb. Pass. When it specializes, conjury duplicate of the creature card gets two, two. And you spend okay. 
Um, I'll take... Honestly, yeah, I'll take the three. Are they going to specialize Viconia before I can Grim Bounty it? That's my question. I could have traded the Grim Wanderer for Kaga. Don't really think it's necessary. Probably Saga. Okay. Well. I can Grim Bounty and then specialize. Let's Grim Bounty... Uh, what is... What is... Oh my god, get out of here. Cancel. I'm thinking. What does Viconia have exiled? How do I see that in this absolute hellscape? They have three creature... Or three things exiled. Owlbear? Okay. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, Grim Bounty Viconia so they don't have the stuff to get back there. I get Bobby Lusaga as a threat still, but I got these two big beasties that I'm going to toss in. And I'm probably just going to dump the Saravok. Send these both in. Awesome. Killing Bobby Lusaga, I'm very happy with, actually. And the Horde Robber, sure. They're gonna scry again, that's fine. You know, I'm gonna specialize you into black. Tossing... I... You know, screw it. I don't... I think I do actually want the Saravok, now that I think about it. You know what? No. I want the... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to dump the Saravok, keep the Demogorgon's clutches, because now I can actually gain life from Shadowheart. Yeah, I'll take the one. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, okay. And they've got a Vampire Spawn they're going to drop, which is fine. Things will bounce off each other. Maybe I should gate of the black dragon. Ooh. Giant fire beetles is fun. Get another couple of blockers down. Although I'm still healing a bit from Shadow Heart. So I'm not as worried about that. I'll send in the Earth Cult Elemental. There is a small chance that they're going to mill themselves. Okay, so now I definitely hold back the Earth Cult Elemental. Yeah. Because if that Vampire Spawn wants to swing in, this is the only thing that's really going to hold it back much. Of course, they do have that Dreadlin Orm now as well. I'm still okay with the one damage. I really am. And they're milling themselves out in this, this whole process. Shadowheart's gonna be stealing some life. If they get out Dreadlin Orm, that's kind of fine. I've got the Earth Cult Elemental. I can also chump something with the Vampire Spawn. I got giant fire beetles coming up. Okay, that's fine. Um, hmm. No hunting party. Seek a non land card. Do I get to choose what I seek? I don't think it's like tutor. If I attack with the vampire spawn. No, I. Just gonna get out the giant fire beetles. Call it a day. 
So I need chump blockers to defend against the vampire spawn and possibly the dreadlin orm if they decide to get that out. Ah, uh, they're not attacking with Kaga anymore. So I think next turn I attack with the giant fire beetles. Get my uh, null hunting party out. Then I got stuff that can pretty solidly block. Let's chump with the vampire spawn. Dread Lenorm? Sure. Mmm. Yeah, I need this. I need this 4 4 out. And they're gonna double block, because that's acceptable. This cannot be blocked by creatures of power 3 or less. So let's get the hunting party out. Gain a little bit of life back. Each player. Okay. I think blocking the Dreadlin Arm with the Shadow Heart would be okay. Hmm. Should I take six here? I'm not putting the Black Market Connections down unless I know I still have Shadow Heart. Screw it. Mm, getting a little bit of life. They've still only got four. Can I last five turns, though? Maybe not with that out. Mm, maybe not with that out. Screw it. I'm going to send in the Null Hunting Party. Let's get a second one. I know it's just going to get blocked by the Dreadlin Orm, but... Otherwise, what's the point of it? Got six mana. I could Black Market Connections and Fire Beetles, which would be a chump. Oh! Well, I wasn't expecting that. In that case... Um... Since that Dreadlin Orm is a thing that still exists, I'm gonna get another Chump Blocker down. Okay. Oh. Oh, not you again! Get out of here! Ah. Oh. Friggin' horrid. Alright, good game. Luka Mina is freaking busted. Jesus. Alright. That was fine. That game came down to the wire. They almost milled themselves out. Which would have been pretty satisfying, I think. They almost got there. And that's our first loss, anyway. Which I'm still very happy with. We're 2-1. What could I have done to change anything? I probably could have held on to the Grim Bounty a little bit longer. I, it's possible blocking with Shadow Heart at that point may have been the wrong decision. Mm. Maybe I need some combat tricks if I've got so much double team. Oh, Diamond. Why would they put someone in Diamond 3 up against someone in uh, Plat 4? Okay, wish I had a red, but we'll work on it. Hello. Man, this ghast is coming up a lot these days. That's not what I wanted to see. So they've got green. 
which, as we know, is pretty scary, actually. Okay. Send in the gas. Awesome. Should I start with Shadow Heart or just Demogorgon's clutches now? Ah! Uh, let's use our mana. Let's use our mana. Force them to discard stuff. Make them lose a bit more life. We can still get Shadow Heart out, or if we get any other mana, the Chain Devil's gonna be good. Ooh. Oh, they dropped an Owl Bear? Why'd they drop an Owl Bear? Also, whatever this thing is. I'm just throwing the mic in. Okay. I, uh. I could use a red mana. That's not a red mana. But I will drop the Shadow Heart now. Yeah. Because if... If they want to send in more stuff... Oh, green black again. Okay. If they want to swing in with more stuff, I can just block the gas. And I just want to keep ticking life totals down. I need red anyway. Gonna send anything in? <laughs> Vampire. How many vampires are my most prevalent? How many vampires do I have in here? Hold on. I got two vampire spawns. Are literally all the rest of my thi wait. Oh, they fought. They fought. Okay. Oh, they have a black market connections. Ah, crap. Wonder is a goblin warlock shaman. Elemental shaman. Imp, vampire. Wow, okay, that's that's really funny. But what's not funny is missing out on all of this land. That is deeply, deeply unfunny. Eh, they should be happy they took rid got rid of Shadowheart. Happens. Maybe I should put a that one reanimator spell in here. Maybe drop the black dragon because I'm having a real hard time finding lands. That's something. Okay. I will sacrifice the shambling ghast. You have a shapeshifter, huh? I'll be more than happy to trade the, the imp with it. Minus one, minus one. Might as well get rid of that thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I will hold back the imp to trade with a friggin' shapeshifter. Please get another one, opponent. They do have all the friggin' mana in the world. This Mykonid. They are, okay, they already seeked with, uh, Mannerborn. Got it. You gonna take a six life hit? Oh, they did! They did! Holy crap, that's hilarious! I just need another red mana. You know what? Uh... I like the scrying. I like the scrying, so I'm just gonna trade this here. Why... Why did I not just take the three? I'm an idiot. I am so much of an idiot because I already scribed that card. Oh no. But we can still hold this nefarious imp back for that other shapeshifter. Yep, song of rest, that's fine. Put this here. And now I can take out this bard with dragon's fire. Or a 4-drop, or I mean a 4-toughness thing, by revealing the Black Dragon. Dreadlinorm. Never mind. 
I will just get rid of this thing and say, screw your freaking Lenorm counters. Oh, and it just, oh, it fizzles into the graveyard when the target is illegal. Ooh. Oh. God about that fact. So here's the question. Do I want to chump block the inspiring bard in order to scry once? I think I do, actually. Maybe. Maybe I want to hold it back to kill the shapeshifter. Or I could kill her mic and it. And scry. What would I be hoping for? I'd be hoping for a mountain. Or something actionable. Yeah. They're at eight. I could take four. Oh, herd gorger. Okay. Okay. Not 20, baby. Not 20. Six. That's fine as well. Um, I am not sacrificing a land. I desperately need this dragon to come through. I mean... I could find some prisoners. I'd be okay with that. They don't have any artifacts to get rid of. This cult elemental will trade with the Herd Gorger. They're still losing life from connections. If they swing with everything, I'm going to block the Herd Gorger and take seven. Which would not be great, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. Or I only take six. Here's the combat trick. Yep, yep, yep. In all honesty, I probably could have seen that coming. But now I'm certainly dead. I mean, I might as well take their other big thing but I'm dead like this chumps the herd gorger I take seven uh-huh 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 or I only take six even if I get an extra land for the black dragon to take out the Inspiring Bard, like, they've still got these and the Dreadlinorm, or not the Dreadlinorm. Yeah, there's that. But it's gonna chump the Hill Giant Herd Gorger, and then I'm gonna take four, so. Good game, opponent. Good game, I'm out of cards, you got everything. God, Black Market Connections is so good. You can win from a losing position. Oh god. I'm gonna put that reanimate spell in here. I'm gonna swap out the black dragon for that reanimator spell. Actually, no. Do, wait, do I even have- Oh, I don't have it. Ooh, I thought I had it. Yikes. In that case... Swap out the swamp for a mountain. Anything else that would be good? Okay. Okay, hear me out. There is a possibility of trying to do uh, a slight mill strat with getting the third Demogorgon clutches and the third prisoners in here. And I'm not gonna lie, it's it's Tempting is all hell, but I don't think that's the way to go. Maybe I need you come to the Null Camp. Just to have, like... A combat trick? Because I got nothing outside of stuff. Like... 
direct removal. I'm kind of not feeling the Genasi Rabble Rouser, actually. I don't know, maybe what I got is just what I got. I'm thinking about it too much. I'm two and two. One to one is fine for a record. I'd rather not lose right now though. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Miriam. Yeah. Miriam's cool. And then somebody with five mana plays a Minimus Containment on it, and you're like, there it goes. This works? This works very well. The Rabble Rouser on turn two. There's Shim the Guest, that's fine. Hello. First time in a long time, I don't have the Shambling Guest, they do. I swear to God, is this, if this is another Golgari deck, okay, that's fine. Hobgoblin Captain. I'll get the Rabble Rouser out here. I think. Uh, do I try and block that? No. I'll take it and then swing. Because I've got Vampire Spawn to mitigate some life loss. What in God's. Why are you running? What? When it enters the battlefield, another non token gets double team. When it attacks, Condor Dupe. That is horrific. That is horrific. Who thought that was a good idea? Um. I mean, if I attack, it just attacks into older Raven Guard and I die. Vampire Spawn at least puts us at even. These can double block that bastard. And I, I will present the double block. I will 100% present the double block. That thing needs to die. And watch the combat trick. Yeah, Dragon's Fire. Meanwhile, this dude's got 800 friggin' hobbler, Hobgoblin Captains. Oh. Um, Might as well get the Tapland down. Shadowheart down. And I will 100% block Older Raven Guard with Shadowheart, if need be. But there's more damage. Okay, this is our loss. This is this is where our life ends. And we move on to the third draft. Where we t steal every bit of double team that we can find. Because it is busted. If I can somehow get a free source of mana here. Nah. Might as well do that. Call it a day. Good game. Yep. That's it. I'm not thinking any more about this draft. 